Hello friends, today we are going to continue with our topic of thermochemistry and today we are going to discuss about the bond breaking and bond making. For a chemical reaction to occur, bond must be broken before a new bond can be made. When bonds break, energy is absorbed. That means the process of bond breaking it is endothermic. It requires energy to be absorbed. And when a bond forms, energy is released. That means the process of bond formation is exothermic. So if energy is absorbed, risk making bonds is greater than the energy transferred to the surrounding. As bonds are made, then endothermic reaction will occur. So that means it depends on the nature of the reaction. Some of the reaction, the energy used to break bond is smaller than the energy which is released when we are making bond. That means energy takako released kyo kubwa finally will get exothermic reaction. But if in the reaction the energy used to break bond, which is endothermic process, is higher than the exothermic process of bond making, that means finally our reaction will be the endothermic reaction. So if energy absorbed, risk making bonds is greater than the energy transferred to the surrounding and the bond are made, then the endothermic reaction will occur. Whereas if energy released on bond formation is greater than that absorbed through breaking bonds, then an exothermic reaction is observed. An exothermic reaction is observed. So there we come with the concept of bond energy. This is the amount of energy required to break a covalent bond. It indicates the strength of a bond. Values are always quoted as bond energy per mole E. So bond energy uh, we, are, we are using E. So the enthalpy change for a chemical reaction can be deduced from consideration of energy required to break bond in the reactant and the energy released when the bonds in the product they are formed. It can be calculated from the following equation. The change in heat is equal to energy required to break bond in reactant minus energy required to break bond in products. So summation of heat change of reactants minus summation of heat change of product. This method can be used to calculate the enthalpy change for any reaction which does not involve ionic bond. Any reaction which involve, does not involve ionic bond. Now, to know mfano, mfano, this reaction to make sana kwenye organic compounds. Kwa carbon dioxide in a react in hydrogen kuna form carbon monoxide in the water. So the um, enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide in New York. Enthalpy of formation of uh, carbon monoxide in New York. Now enthalpy of formation of water in New York. As I calculate the enthalpy of the reaction. Enthalpy of the reaction. Sasa in this case manaki tumpewa enthalpy of formation ya uyu na enthalpy of formation ya uyu. Wakati uyu tumpewa tumpewa the enthalpy of formation of water. Remember uyu hydrogen hydrogen ye ya tuna haja ya kuwa na enthalpy of formation yake. Kwa hiyo e, summation Total energy of reactant kwa ni energy wa huyu unaweza uka, uka add hapo total energy of reactant minus total energy of products kama hapo tumeonyeshwa 